Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Karina Speedway and uh, proudly sponsored by Autobahn this year. And uh, i tell you what, folks, round number two of these wild machines to my left-hand side, the V8 non-wing sprint cars. Round number one uh, just a couple of weeks ago and uh, certainly was an exciting time with six cars out there in the field. And the man that has uh, made this inception a reality, uh, Mr. Peter Basmagin, mate, uh, you must be very happy with our product. Oh, mate, we are. We're absolutely blown away. And look, we can't take the credit for it. There's a team of guys in WA that, you know, put a lot of hard yards into getting this concept together and, and getting the formula right. And we've been lucky enough to be able to jump on board and embrace it. And, uh, mate, we're going leaps and bounds. The car numbers are constantly increasing. Uh, we've got our um, Queensland title, which we're in uh, Easter, and we've got half a dozen of the WA boys coming over for that as well. So we'll have 20 plus cars uh, on the track by Easter. And uh, that's when things will start to get hectic. That certainly is mate, we've gone from six to eight tonight and that's an exciting time already. We've jumped up two cars from round number one and uh, the man in the 77 was certainly the man to watch, Kevy Hill. Yeah, absolutely. Unfortunately, elect electrical dramas let him down in the final, but um, hey, Brendan got a well-deserved win. He's um, probably one of the hardest working blokes in this division. Um, he just constantly keeps putting out cars like this one, which has just been sold to another new driver. And we, we we're absolutely overwhelmed at how, how well this is being embraced with um, local involvement and it, it just goes to show the formula is right. It's cheap, affordable, accessible V8 racing at your local racetrack. Um, and unfortunately, you know, with all the other divisions having so many series around the around the state, uh, it's it's hard to get someone involved um, into Speedway that hasn't been in it before because they can only race at their home track two or three times. And the guys like Kevin Hill, Brendan Parker and all the other boys in the non-wings, you know, proof this, we're on a winning deal here. Mate, all novices. Um, most of these guys haven't even stepped into a race car before. Tell us a little bit about these machines. Right, they're a really cool thing to drive. They're very nimble. Um, you know, without the aero of the sprint car um, top and top and lower wings, um, you know, th there's no nothing to sort of help you around the corners. They're very very similar to a super sedan in, in the way that you need to drive them and in the way that you need to set them up. And yeah, you know, these things are only 400, 450 horsepower. Every engine here has got over 100,000 k's on it. They're they're straight out of a wrecking yard. They're they're not a special race engine. Um, you know, it's just um, got mechanical fuel injection on on top. Um, very all the same components as a sprint car except for the throttle body in itself and that's the way that the boys designed it was that it is an entry level to sprint car racing it's not um, you know you don't need any special equipment it's exactly what the big boys are using LS1 5.7 litre V8 straight out of the Holden Commodore and uh, and bolted straight into this very lightweight frame as you said mate uh, round number one was an exciting thing to watch uh, live feed around the world we got some great coverage yeah we did we've got about three or four hundred people tonight watching it over in WA at one of the local pubs over there so uh, they're putting it on the big screen and, and that that once again another concept that's been really well embraced um, you know the the quality of the image isn't as good as Ash Media's or other live streaming companies but um, that was the point behind it you know it's it's simple it's basic and it's free you can get a taste of what what we have happening here at Autobahn Carina Speedway and hopefully that entices people to come back next time. Exactly right and a great way to uh, you know those people that might be interested in getting into one of these things uh, they can have a look at it on the live feed doesn't cost them anything and uh, get in contact with yourself or Kevy Hill and uh, all of a sudden uh, our numbers jump from 8 to maybe 12, 14, 15 cars. Well, we've already got two confirmed cars for November meeting, another two that will be growing, possibly another two on top of that. So, um, yeah, once we start getting up over that 12 to 14 cars, we can, you know, comfortably say that we're building a good field and, and a good product. And we know we're going to get there, but it's um, it, it, this division keeps surprising us, you know, it, it, it might surprise us even further. Exciting times, mate. I know that you uh, certainly want to get a couple of the uh, the Yanks out here, give them a go uh, in a couple of the local cars maybe if they don't bring their own. and. Uh, I tell you what, that would certainly be uh, one way of lifting the profile of this class well and truly at Carina Speedway. Yeah, I can't say too much. There's a few things in the wings um, that we've been working on for quite a while. Um, and, yeah, with a couple of other divisions, we're trying to combine some stuff. And there's some well-known drivers um, in other divisions that you'll see driving some V8 non-wings shortly. Um, some of them could be just guest drives and others might be full-time. Fantastic, mate. Well, I'll tell you what, we're looking forward to it tonight. Round number two of the shootout and the first time the boys will go wheel to wheel in a couple of heats as well. Mate, feature time. Uh, who's your money on? Kevy Hill. Can he, go, uh, can he do over Brendan Barker? 
Um, mate, I wouldn't count out Brendan Rowlings. Um, and then we've got the dark horse in tonight, um, a new driver with Clinton Mark on. Um, he did some testing yesterday afternoon, and I think he's going to come up to speed pretty quickly. So well, it's still anyone's game. And uh, like what happened at, at the first round, um, yeah, all it takes is one little problem, and you can you lose yourself the win. Well, as you can tell, folks, the boss is very excited, a massive smile on his face. He's absolutely loving it. I know the crowd are certainly enjoying it, those that are watching it on the live feed. Ash Media bringing you all the action tonight. I'm Steve Macken McCulloch. I'll be calling it all for you along with Terry Hoff. Folks, Autobahn, Carina Speedway is the place to be tonight. Keep your eye on us, and uh, we look forward to catching up with you very shortly.